um, the concerns, we have a lot of concerns because number one, you've already talked about how many people are fleeing. It's pretty remarkable how many people have crossed international borders, both to Poland, Hungary, Moldova, Romania, all the neighboring countries, like you said. So number one, we're concerned about the numbers of people and the ability for these neighboring countries to really receive them and, and host them. And as for women and girls, we're concerned about uh, many things, including sexual and gender-based violence, including exploitation, including, like you said, mental health issues for everyone. Um, you know, they've left loved ones behind and, and there's a lot of trauma that uh, these refugees have experienced really in just a week. You know, it's quite amazing that the, the invasion happened a week ago and this many people have left. Certainly we're worried about that, but so far these neighboring countries have really demonstrated a remarkable sense of, of being welcoming and, and really opening their doors to Ukrainian refugees. Now the challenge is, um, will they do that for other refugees and, and will policies be um, improved for other people fleeing other places? But, but certainly the unity um, that the EU has had around this issue and really the rest of the world as well has been um, encouraging to see. And we just hope that that uh, that kind of behavior will continue and continue for other refugees as well.